Welcome to another word problem in Chapter Seven. In one of the previous videos, we solved a problem about upstream downstream. This time, we're going to talk about airplane. We're going to use with the wind and against the wind. Remember, with the wind gonna be faster, against the wind gonna be slower, and we're given the airplane's. Speed is average air speed of the airplane is one sixty. And if we're going with the wind, which means we need to add the wind speed. We don't have wind speed. We're gonna call wind speed r. So we're gonna say add r, subtract r. And we're going from、uh, Salem to Green Village. And with the speed. We use the three hours, three hours, with the speed. Remember, distance is time times speed. Oh, let me use the speed since I used R as the wind speed. Okay, so the distance from Salem to Green Village is one hundred sixty plus the R, faster, times time, equals distance. We don't know the distance, which is called a D. The next one, after three hours into return trip means I fly three hours. Well, airplane fly fly three hours. Cannot be equal D. Why? Because almost we're one hundred twenty miles from Salem, which means its distance minus one hundred twenty. Now we finish the setting. All right, we come back. It's this. Fly, 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 fly! Oh, stop right here! We're almost there. And for this portion of distance, that is distance minus one twenty, and the speed is, and the time is three hours. Okay. All right. Now we can erase this small diagram, and focus on solving for D. It did not ask for R. We definitely can solve for R, but only ask us to solve for D. So let's focus on solving for D. And we can eliminate the variable r first. All right, let's see what we have. We're gonna distribute. So this one, we're going to have four eighty plus three r equals d. All right, and the next one, distribute. We're gonna have four eighty minus three r equals d minus one twenty. Okay, let's say、um, I'm going to let's add one twenty each side to see what's happening. Okay, add one twenty, add one twenty, add it, and so this one I have six hundred minus three r equals d. All right, I'm gonna erase what we don't need. At this stage, it's really easy for us to solve for r. We can do it, but let's focus on d. And if we add these two equations, simply add these two equations. Did you see you have a positive and a negative three r? A pair of opposite, they cancel out each other. And then we have d plus d. D plus d is two d. Okay. And then four hundred eighty plus six hundred. That's eighty. That's one eight. And then we're gonna divide by two. Divide by two each side around the space. So I'm gonna write right here. Okay. Divide by two each side. And the D is distance. Distance is five hundred forty. Don't forget the unit is five hundred forty miles. Okay. That's it. That's how we solve this problem, which involved with the wind against the wind. Happy learning.